Hey budget nerds! Today we'll be checking out this neat little thermal camera from Thermal Master. Comes in around $200, so we'll see if it's worth the money. Thermal Master reached out and asked if I would check out their P2 thermal camera. According to them, it's the second smallest thermal camera in the world. Comes in this little box and is only compatible with Android. It's made in China and has a max temperature range of 1112 degrees Fahrenheit, a plus or minus of 1.5% accuracy, a 15x digital zoom, as well as some sort of AI image processing. The box is pretty neat, and in it you get the manual and stuff, a USB-C cable extender, and the camera in a neat case with a keyring holder or loop. The little carrying case is actually pretty cool, and it seems like it's built well, would do a good job of protecting the camera, and even looks pretty cool. This camera is also so small that having this little case, and a way to hook it up in a belt loop or key ring or something is a nice touch. There's also a latch you can press to open it up. The camera is really small. It connects to your phone via this USB-C port. It does sit pretty close to the phone's body, so you may need to remove your phone's case like I did, which is sort of tragically ironic since most people's phones will cost more than this camera. But you could get around this by using the USB extender cable they provide. The app you use for this is called Temp Master. Plug in the camera and the app will recognize it. You get a few options under settings, such as these image settings, toggling burn protection, changing the temperature unit, and setting a temperature alarm, among other less exciting things. There's also a gallery you can use to view the pictures or videos you take, but you can also view them in your phone's normal gallery as well. Press that to enter the camera's view. I clearly have it aimed back at myself, but it's easy to turn around and will auto-connect if you're quick enough. This thing worked great and was a ton of fun to play around with. We started filming and taking a bunch of pictures and videos of dumb stuff. It defaults to a black and white color scheme, but they do offer quite a few different options including the more traditional blue, reddish, and orange or yellow color scheme. I would tease my son about being partially dead with how cold his fingers appeared to be compared to ours. Here is a picture of our front door. It gets a lot of afternoon sun. This is my daughter in my sunglasses. This here is a video outside at night. It's dark outside, but you might never know. You can still see the ground is warm and my son is still undead. This is my Steam Deck charging. This is my stovetop. You can see my dishwasher warming the countertop above it. What makes sense but is no less disturbing are the heat butt prints left by, well, our butts on our chairs. It made us feel like we needed to wipe down the table or chairs, but of course there was nothing to wipe away. This here is our cat. You can also go back to your pictures and videos and change the color scheme or see what the temperature is for a given part of the image. It's a cool feature. We even saw the burn protection kick in when I went outside and it caught a glimpse of the sun. So that works. And it's great so you don't destroy the sensor in your thermal camera. The only thing I can really say about it that I didn't like was something in the privacy policy. I don't really recall what it was, but I don't really like any privacy policies these days. You don't need to access my call history or my messages to give me the weather, for example. Just read the fine print before you pull the trigger on this camera or any device, really, or service. Other than that little nitpick, I really can't think of anything I didn't like, other than the price tag. $200 is a lot for this little camera, but I do feel what you get here is still a pretty good deal. It's probably hard to find a decent thermal camera in this price point, and I did for sure like this one. 
If you want to grab one, check out the link below. And thanks for watching.